The declining balance method is also called the constant percentage method or the Matheson formula. Uh, sa method na ito, okay, ang annual cost of depreciation is a fixed percentage of the salvage value at the beginning of each year. Meron tayong bagong um meron tayong bagong uh, variable or bagong symbol we have k which is the rate of depreciation. Okay? So on your screen I also included um let's say we have a diagram, cash flow diagram. But this time we will just indicate the book value and the original value. So may annotation So let's say at period 0, 1, 2, 3, period um, N minus 1, period N, L minus 1, period L. Okay? So uh, let's also say that at the first, at the start, you have the original cost, book value at year 1, book value at year 2, book value at year 3. Book value at year N minus 1. Book value at year N. Book value at year L minus 1. Book value at L. Or the scrap or salvage one. Okay. Sige. After nito, sa ako yung open yung module 4. After natin mag-discuss. Okay. So, ayan. Um, ibig sabihin, dot, dot, dot yan, no? So, kung saan man mapunta yung N at L. Okay, kasi depends sa problem, no? So, ang depreciation per year, okay, ay nakadepende dito. So, this is depreciation of year 1. Depreciation of year 2. Depreciation of year 3. So, may participasyon, okay, yung previous year. Okay? sa depreciation on that specific year, depreciation of year L. Okay, how are we going to write that out? Okay, sige, punta tayo sa, uh, maglagi, gawa, gawa natin ng table para mas ano, solid. Sorry, ikokopyin ko pala muna. Okay. So, okay, at the beginning of each year, the book value at the beginning of the year is C sub O. Okay? And then, yung depreciation during that year would be K, which is the rate of depreciation multiplied by the original cost. Okay? To get the book value at the end of the year, okay, we subtract the depreciation during that year to the original cost. Okay, C sub 1 would be C sub O times 1 minus K. And then the book value at the beginning of the year, no? Sa year 2, C sub O, tapos 1 minus K. Okay, and then the depreciation during that year would be K times C sub 1. And then to get the book value at year 2, it would be C sub 1 minus D sub 2. Okay, so ano yung C sub 1 natin? Diba C sub O times 1 minus K? Okay, then minus natin yung D sub 2. So we will end up with C sub O times 1 minus K raised to 2. Okay, and then uh, and so on and so forth. And at year end, it would be C sub O raised to 1 minus k, raised to n minus 1. Okay. And then, um, d sub n is equal, ang depreciation natin at year n would be k times c sub n minus 1. Tapos yung book value natin at year n would be the uh, book value at c uh, at year n minus 1 minus the depreciation at year n. So that will be C sub O times 1 minus K raised to N. C sub O, uh, as at year L naman, okay, at the end of its useful life, C sub O, 1 minus K, 
raise to L minus 1, depreciation at year L, A, times C sub L minus 1. And then the book value at the end of the year would be C sub L is equal to C sub L minus 1 minus D sub L. Which is C sub O times 1 minus K raised to L. Okay? So, to get uh, the depreciation at a certain year N, the annual depreciation, so we have um, summarized the formulas here. So you have equation number 7, D sub N is equal to C sub O times 1 minus K raised to N minus 1 times K. That's equation number 7. Yung book value naman natin at year N would be C sub O times 1 minus K raised to N. Or if we rewrite this, this will um, uh, form C sub O times parenthesis, C sub L over C sub O, then um, the whole fraction raised to N over L. It's equation number 8. To get the salvage value, sorry, ano ba yun, nag next? C sub O times 1 minus K raised to L. And then lastly, to get the rate of depreciation, 1 minus the nth root of C, N, C sub N minus original or 1 minus uh, L root of the salvage value or scrap value divided by the original cost. Okay, so major formula based on anong to. Let's try it with an example. Balik-balikan natin yung ano, no? Sabi dito, a certain type of machine loses 10% of its uh, value each year. The machine costs 2,000 originally. Make out a schedule showing the yearly depreciation, the total depreciation, and the book value at the end of each year for five years. So, gawan din natin ng table daw, gaya ng kanina. Okay. Sorry, before we continue, please note. Ito, note. Okay. Uh, note that uh, this method does not apply. Paano ba? I ano lang. Red. This does not apply. No. If your salvage value is zero. Okay? Bakit? Because K, kapag zero ang salvage value mo, uh, yung K mo maging equal to one. Diba? K will only be equal to one. Okay? And kung ang K mo ay equal to 1, ang D sub 1 mo, ano mangyayari sa D sub 1 mo? Equal lang sa C sub O. Ay, mag-zero pala. Tama. C sub O. Okay? So when we use uh, the declining balance method, dapat yung C sub L mo, hindi zero or yung salvage or scrap value. Maliwanag po. Let's continue with the example then. If you don't... Uh, questions. Ay, sorry. Save. Clear all drawings. So sabi dyan, um, ang <clears throat> this certain type of machine loses 10% of its value each year. So the machine costs 2,000 originally, make out a schedule showing the yearly depreciation, the total depreciation, and the book value at the end of each year for five years. So how are we going to do that? So... talagang tape. Gawin natin black yung panula. So, sulat natin yung year dito. Ay, ano daw? Yung nakapangan. Year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tapos, the book value at the beginning of the year.
Okay, tapos dito, let's write the depreciation. And then total depreciation. of year, tapos you have the book value at the end of the year. Okay? So, ano yung uh, book value natin at the beginning of the year? Okay? So, that would be C sub O. Okay? Sorry, nakakasama yung ano, no? That will be 2,000. Tama? So, ano yung depreciation natin? If um, the rate of depreciation is 10%. Sabi ko. 10% of its value each year. Yun daw ang ano, rate. So, ang depreciation niya at year 1 would be 200. Okay, 2,000 times 0. 0.1. 200. Okay? So, ano ang total, total depreciation at the end of this year? Dahil yun pa lang naman yung depreciation, edi 200. So, therefore, the book value at the end of this year would be 1,800. Okay? Next, what will be the book value at the beginning of the year? Siyempre, start ka sa 1,800. So what is the depreciation? Sabi, value daw, 10% uh, of the value, tama? So 1,800 times 0 0.1, we have 180, correct? What is the total depreciation? I-add mo na yung depreciation sa year 1. So 180 plus 200, so it will be 3,000 at 3,038. 30, 380. <laughs> Okay, so what will be the book value at the end of the year? So it will be 1,800 minus 380. So that will be 1,620. Good. So 1,620. Anong depreciation? One sixty two. JB san galing yung one four twenty. Ayo nga, bakit yanoon? Tama nga. Pat nga one six twenty. Diba sir one eight minus three eighty. Oh nga no. Ay hindi total yun, JB total. Yung depreciation this year lang. Ha? Mm -mm. Okay. Ha? At dog joke. Okay. <laughs> Na, nadala din ako nun ha. 1,420. <laughs> Sabi sa inyo, tao lang din ako. Nadadarang at natutok. So din eh. 380 plus 162. Aring ano? Total. 4,542. Ah, minus 380 ba nasabi ko? Eh, sorry. Tao lang. Oo. Pero na-realize, ang mahalaga doon, okay lang naman magkamali. Okay. Okay lang naman magkamali. Pero sana, kapag na-realize mo na yung mali mo, hindi mo nagagawin ulit. Iba kasi, alam na nga nilang mali, ginagawa pa nila eh. Ginagawang hobby. Anyway. <laughs> Dami hugot. Oh, what's the answer? 1,458. Baka may nagtatanong, paano nakukuha yung book value at the end of the year? 1,8 minus 180. 1,620 minus 162. Next, at year 4, 1,458. What's the depreciation?
145.8 ang pangit ng 82. So the total depreciation at the end of the year is 687. Ay. Oh, may magalit. Pangit sulat. Go with it. So, 1458 minus 145.8 The book value, 1312.2. 1312 oh, year 5. Depreciation. Total depreciation. Thank you.